Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Saturday night, Link to the Past randomizers tonight. Normal open randomized swords with enemy shuffle turned on, boss shuffle at full, and pot shuffle as well. So we're in for a, a real good time. Let's get this going in three, two, one! Go, 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 first chest, what do we get? We get some ten arrows! Oh boy. It's not what I wanted, really. Got a mini helmet sword down to the south there. We don't care about him, though. It's not gonna do us any problems. We got a thief waiting for us. Well, guess what? We got a sign for your face. Idiot. <laughs> okay. Not too much exciting just yet. Tree pull is small magics. Small magics. Not exactly great. Not exactly bad. It just is. Uncle, my friend, what you got? He's candy. Thanks, I guess. Thanks. Some little hidden boys there. A big old 20 right there. Wow, what a stunning start. What a stunning start that was. All right, let's rob the church. What's the church got? A sword, hey, all right. Not gonna question why uh, the priest decided to have a weapon back by the altar there, but hey, whatever. I'll take it now. <laughs> Gives us some good weaponry to start, that's for sure. Nice, solid, steady, dependable weapon, even if it is kinda shitty. Small magic from breakdancing dude there. Business, not gonna happen. Well, lumberjack ledge, lumberjack ledge, don't be hating on us tonight. What do we got? Just some bombs. All right, good, good, very good. In fact, it's no guarantee that this won't be an ego one required seed, but it's at least a good sign. Eh, birds, Why don't you uh, drop a bomb for me. Oh, I think twenty is pretty good too. Quite enough money for bombs just yet. Ooh, a lamp though, huh? Aight! Aight! Dark rooms will not be a concern. That's good, I like that. I like that a lot, in fact. And another sword, holy shit. Okay, cool. Um, well... <laughs> that does put Ega 1 firmly on the table. Which sucks. But, um... Crab drop got. Crab drop's got tiny magics. So Ega One is kind of on the table already, but hopefully that won't be a thing. Mm. Here, us with only 40 rupees. That's not great. No bombs, a lamp, and a level two sword, which is fine and dandy on its own. We're gonna. Bank on some bombs down here, or at least enough money to get some bombs. Either one, really. Well, ah, there we go. Alright. Wow, lots of small pocket change. And there's some bombs! Hey, fucking sick. Probably pick up another pack before we leave Kakariko, too, so this is not gonna be enough for us. Another big old 20. Hm. Okay, well, hmm, wine's not being super valuable. But a little bit of cash and a, and a triple of explosives, so okay. Okay. Mushroom, alright. One of the fetch quest items. Candy, not exactly what I'm looking for. Well, uh, heart container is fine. The boots! What are those? And some more cash. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
cool. That's, uh, that's some good stuff. That's some really good stuff, you know? Ten arrows for a hundred bucks, that's, uh, that's a rip-off, thanks. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> no Santa skin equals doomed run. You know, you're probably not wrong. Ouch. Oh, that was interesting. Interesting explosive, but that's alright. Another big old 20 at the back of the KFC. Thanks, I guess. Slow business yesterday. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> that's right. Since the fucking now live bot is kind of ripped. Ooh, hey, alright. Let's do this. Get us a hundred bucks and a, a cache of other things by giving a fish to this dude, so. <clears throat> Here we go. I locked this all the way here, yeah. Oh, that gives us an 8 popper, too. I forgot about that. It's sick. We don't have to wait. We don't have to waste 50 bucks on buying some more bombs. Another piece of candy at the back of the bar. Very slow night last night, apparently. That's okay. That's okay. It's alright. That's, uh... That was a Kakariko. Certainly it was. But... Since we got little booty boots, we can see what's on library and get it right away if it's valuable. What is it? Blue mail. Yes, please. Yes, please. It'll be a slightly darker blue Sonic. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, what about race game? Race game is a piece of candy, aka a piece of shit that we don't care about. Alright, South Shore it is. We got the bombs, we got the sword. Looking for some equipment. Excuse me, sir. Not really much threatening here. Oh, Lionel is pretty threatening, actually, even with blue mail. I think that's still at least two hearts of damage. Possibly three. Got there. Ooh! Fancy 300! Okay. Got some good cash. I think we're still 50 shy of Zora money. That'll definitely get us closer. Yep. Eight. Eight bucks. Can't sketch yesterday's long lawn run. Decent progress. Yeah, I, I felt so. I felt that way too. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about the Nidhogg dude. Like, he's fucking just up there. I haven't quite nailed down this pattern, plus we really don't have the weaponry to take care of it either, so... Ow! Alright, just gonna... Zoop. Okay. <laughs> just gonna hope we can get through that. And what are we gonna get here? Alright. Interesting little enemy set there. <clears throat> what we got here more bombs. The hook shot, hell yeah. Twenty roops, ten arrows, and a oh, big old heart. Okay. Okay, this is looking nice. This is looking real nice. We get good utility value out of that. Oh, jeez, this guy though. Excuse me, sir. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> damn it! It's fucking body blocked. What an asshole. Alright, that's fine though. That's fine. Um, let's do front side of escape. Man, that guy, he, he was going for it. He's like, no, we ain't letting this fucker pass. Just body blocked me right out of there. What a shit. What a shit. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll save uh, Ice Rod Cave for later. No value in going down for one item right now. Oh, excuse me, everybody. Thanks, I guess.
Hmm, kind of lackluster guards there. Oh, look at this vanilla-ass green guard. What is he doing? And a vanilla-ass blue guard, too. Wow. Alright, then. Alright, then. Piece of candy there, so this uh, front side escape play has been pretty slim. We should set up for a, a death warp, though, since we've got the, the lamp. Perhaps we can get the dark cross room right away. Uh, ooh. That'd be ugly as hell, though. Alright, what do we got? Not really a whole lot going on here. Come on. Beat the hell out of me a little bit. There we go. Okay. That'll do. Oh, oh wait, wait, I don't wanna... I wanna kill this guy. <laughs> this is setting up for the Death Warp and I almost... got rid of the one dude that could do it for me. Alright, come on over here, buddy. Ten arrows. Boo! Mm. Alright, well not necessarily valuable. That's okay. Rather check it than not. Cause you know if I had skipped it, it would have been something good. So of course it would have. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, this could be real dangerous depending on what's all packed in down here. Yeah, goo goo goo. Oof. Yeah, okay. Lock that one back a little bit. Fucking. <laughs> Out of here. Ow. Ow. Alright. Well, I guess if this isn't the um, small key, then we're not going to be able to get backside, are we? 300 rupees. Okay. You know, that's Zora money right there. So that's good. But no moon pearl means no waterfall of wishing. The walk, the water walking glitch. Without the water walking glitch, I can't do a good Christopher Walken impression. It's not something I'm capable of doing. <clears throat> what about Bonk Rocks, though, huh? Big ol' 20. Wow, what a waste. What's a waste? Alright, well we're let, left with a whole heck of a lot here, so let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go with Sashasha Shushurlu. It's another three plus the three, potentially three that are in... I just didn't need all that. Out of here. Uh, plus the three that are in Eastern. Um, which, depending on the boss that's in Eastern, we might be able to just fucking get, get done, huh? Let's just check to see what we're dealing with here. Crystal, crystal, crystal. Normal ass crystals all around. Cool, I guess. Which means that three Dark World dungeons are gonna be pendants. That makes me excited. That makes me excited. Because that might mean we don't need to do T Rock. Or. Or Mire. Or Ice. Open, please. Or Ice. Real nice. Big ol' fiver, big ol' 20, and a piece of candy. Wow. Thanks to Shasha Shurshula. Literally nothing for us. Thanks, Eastern. Ooh, Lionel guarding the gates here. Excuse me. Sir, you need to move away, please. I can't even fucking hit him. With this weak ass sword. Alright, there's three items here. Plus a potential boss kill, depending on what it is. Kane of Brian. Hmm. Alright. I guess that's something. I guess that's a little something-something. 
Big ass key, alright, okay. Huh? Means we may not have to wrap around. That would be super nice. We could get both items just straight here, like the one small chest up here, and then the big chest has the last one, then we can go straight for the boss and get the fuck out of here. How nice would that be? It'd be pretty nice. <sighs> what the fuck the pattern is? <laughs> Losing my touch. Hey, skeleton. Skeleton, please. Busy to bams, alright, well, not exactly what I wanted to see, but that's the second item. Armor in a chest requiring a specialist unlock. Okay, so purple chest will have the red mail for us then. Not terribly necessary. Ah, the burrito figures. Not a terribly necessary item, so we'll probably not go for it, but if I'm in the area already, we may just pick it up. I'm still kind of on the fence about them tossing hints in here, though. Like, it's it's a neat little addition, but it's like, yeah, but... I don't know. Like, I could take them or leave them, honestly. I'd really, I really hope they put uh, the bomb and arrow caps back in the pool, though. Taking that out was kind of silly. For V30. Oh well, let's see. They're in control of what goes in the rando, so they can do whatever. It's still fun to play. Doop a doop a doop. Hey, fire rod. Damn. That's some hot shit right there. Excellent. That's all three items, so. Boss time it is, the boss will have the compass. It's thoroughly useless. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly useless. Well, that's alright. Oh, wow, look at this cluster here. Who's got the key out of this? Nutty is? Oh, there he is. <laughs> the big old cluster of bullshit. Who's got the key? Sturdy ass Gibdos. Ah. <sighs> Alright, but what are we dealing with here? Like what's what's the over under on us being able to do this? Oh, okay, well, it's gotta be on our mustard with our bomb throws. There's a good solid one. I don't know if that one counted. That one should have counted. Excellent. Oh, I don't know if that one counted either. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, ooh, he's pissed. But he's also dead, so fuck you, King Elmasaur. <laughs> there we go. What a nice, solid play to Eastern. Yep, come pass as predicted. And there's crystal number one. Fantastic. Well, well, okay. That doesn't get us to Dark World. That leaves a couple, like, real dumb places that we need to check yet. I'm gonna go probably turn in the mushroom. We'll have to go see what Egan has got, and then we've got um, Nice Rod Cave that we got body blocked out of. Before. So that's fun. It's fun that we're doing the one off bullshit already. Hooray. Now 
watch, it'll be like flute or something in the... Oh, what am I doing? <clears throat> it'll be flute and ice rod cave or power glove or something real important that I should have gone immediately back for. What do we got here? Hey! What was I just saying about a power glove? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, that opens up the mountain. Real good. In fact, that's exactly where we're gonna go. Do, 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 do. Also opens up backside of escape. So why don't we do that first? Get that triple. Get those triple items, and then we'll go up the mountain. Which is lots of items. Many items. Too many to count. Too many to count while I'm the scrimmage. Let's just put it that way. Although it is a lot. It's well into double digits. Right, I need, I need bombs and just bust it open. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Burrito? Oh, one of them's gonna be a small piece. So this is really just one item. Good! Oh, great. What a fantastic value that was. Dang it. <laughs> what a waste of time. What a waste of time. That's alright, though. Better to get it than to leave it behind and have it be something super ultra important. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Do, 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 yeah, we got the boots super early, which is fantastic. I wonder if it's because we chose the Sonic Sprite tonight. Because you gotta go fast. Oh, that's right, you can't run with the old man. I want him to break a hip or something. Oh, good! It just gives us five bucks for our trouble. What a shit. Thanks, old man. How super valuable of you to give that to us. Eh? Eh? No choice but to go faster. Else. I mean, when you're doing a speedrun, you gotta you kinda gotta go fast. That's the whole point. Ooh, a moon pearl, huh? Moon pearl up on spec rock. What about inside? I'm gonna put a big old 20. Alright, well, inside we don't care about, but we definitely care about that moon pearl. Hmm, I hope we get the mirror soon, so we can get that. <laughs> but knowing my luck, it's probably not gonna show up for now. We do have enemy rando turned on, you know, just to give it a little bit more spice. And that includes both overworld enemies, enemies in dungeons, and dungeon bosses. So it can get real spicy, whew, real fast. I don't know, ah, it doesn't matter. We're down here now. Depending on what's, uh, what's coming our way, it can get real spicy real quick. So them spike rollers being there is not fun, but we made it through somehow. Bloomerang and a big old heart container. The heart container's nice. Let's be honest, it's nice. Bloomerang, not so much. I don't really care for that. But that's I. Right. Fiber up here. All right, so we got a shovel, silver arrows, fantastic. Big old twenty. Piece of candy. Big old heart container again. All right. You know what? That was not bad. Certainly not the most terrible equipment we could have gotten. We just need oh, oopsie. <laughs> we just need something to be able to use those arrows. We need that bow. We need that D. So we'll see if that's forthcoming. That should do it. So unfortunately, not much else we can check up here. This spiral Cave is the only one that we can get, and we can check what's on the island. And then we'll have to go elsewhere. We're still not guaranteed to not- Ooh, three hundo on the floating island. Still not guaranteed to not be an egg of one seed. Since that is still on the table, for our Dark World access, and what could be real bad here is if Mirror's on Pyramid. Because that would give us the Moon Pearl. 
then the only way to get to it would be to fight Eglon. Which kind of sucks ass, let's be honest. But hey. Unless this is the mirror. Hey! <laughs> hey! Called it! Fucking sick. Alright. No Ega 1 for us today. No Ega 1. Womp womp. Saves us six, six and a half minutes. <laughs> Get up that ladder, Sonic. You gotta go fast, I know. But please go fast in my favor. Alright, plus that means we can do... Uh, Tower of Hera while we're up here. And hope it's another boss that we can actually beat. That'd be super nice. Since this is also a normal ass crystal. And if we can get two crystals sub 30 minutes, that's pretty fucking fly for us. Well, for me in particular. So I will not turn that down if that is a possibility. Kane of Birna is an Eastern Palace. Thanks, Hit. You're a little late on that, but thanks, anyways. Compass. Not ideal. Still leaves the uh, basement on the table here, but hopefully the basement just has the burrito and then everything will be fine. Okay. Oh, we actually have everything we need to get this chest without the bomb jump, which is fantastic. Excited. So, Subpar at this particular bomb dump. Oh, small key. Boots is in Kakariko well. Thanks, Hint. Again, you're a little late on that. Oh, look at this fucker. Try to bot me off. Fuck you. <laughs> Big ol' heart container. Okay, there's one item. Just one more to go here. One more to go before we go visit that basement. Do it. Can I? Please don't be a dumb bullshit boss that we can't beat. It is Cold Stare. Oh boy, we can beat him. It's just gonna take a little bit. We can't miss any of these fire rod shots, otherwise we are SOL. <laughs> Okay, let's just not get popped off the edge here, please. Because that would go real poorly for us. <laughs> yeah. Let's try not to separate them too much, either. There we go, there's one down. Two down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think... I think this is gonna do two hearts of damage if it touches me since I got blue mail, but... I'd rather not find out. So we're just gonna take our time. Be nice and safe. God damn, you got a lot of health <laughs> when you don't have Tempered Sword. Alright, see you in hell, Gold Stair. Fuck you. And there's the burrito, so we're gonna have to go to the basement anyways. But hey, two crystals at 29 minutes. I'll take it. Hmm. What about rooms that need you to clear the room but the enemies are invincible? Um, I think the logic is still such that it won't require you to do that until you're able to. Which means you just leave and come back when you're able to clear that room. So for example, like, uh, Red Mimics or uh, Red Igors, which require a bow. Um, you won't have to clear that room until you have the bow. Eh, that might. Let's de-boost through that. Um, although typically it's been that it's cleared up restrictions on a room. So for example, in Eastern, when you get the, uh... uh da -da -da, when you get the, um... 
uh, the red Igors before Armos. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, whatever. Like, we didn't see that this time. It was a bunch of shit that I could just beat with a normal sword. Oh, nice. Can I... Oh, <laughs> Okay, well... Thanks, Tyler Room, for busting down that peg for me. Yo, pal. Pattern is just spelling out now. Boots? Is, is it putting some boots in the floor for me? It is. Oh, that's very kind. And kind of funny. That is definitely the boots. <laughs> that's funny. I forgot that they randomized the Tile Room patterns. That's... That's super cool. Ooh, that guy's got somewhere to be. Fuck off. <laughs> get out of here. Get out. Asshole. What do we get? Ah, just a piece of candy. Boo. Hmm. Alright, so what does that do for us, really? That opens up a couple more places. Um... Although we still don't have Dark World access, so I may have been a bit hasty declaring this a fuck you, I go one seed. So we do still need either a hammer or the Titan Mitts to get into Dark World. So let's go track those down, hopefully. Either one, or both. Get out of here. <laughs> Piece of shit. Alright, so we got Dig Spot, we got Agana. Ice Rod Cave, and then all of the bullshits up by Zora. That's a lot of places. That's a lot of places yet we can go. Before we need to go pay a visit to Ega 1. Ten arrows is not one of those things that we want. Fucking big spot. Oh, come on, huh? Want me to lift that rock? He's like, no, fuck you. Fucking really? How did you hide your ass under that grass? Piece of shit. Wow. Really squeezed down there. So, at least we can check Desert Ledge, see what's on that bad bore. <laughs> Dangerous desert. Alright, we gotta be in a bottle. Not necessarily important or exciting. But good to know nonetheless. Alright, here's the other old man with the weird back room. What you got here? Ah! Well, it's good for a refill though. So there is that. Hmm. Okay, so technically there's still only two areas in logic, which will be Zora paying 500 rupees for that, and the Ice Rod Cave, which I got body blocked out of last time we tried to go for it. So we'll see what we can get here. We'll probably still do fake flippers if we need to, because that's just more items for us. And it could potentially save us from Mega One. Excuse me, sir. That was the dude that blocked this out last time. He just got all excited and he just murdered us because he didn't want us to go over here. What a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, oh, ten arrows. Boo! Well, that's not good. Okay, well, leaves, uh, leaves Zora. We've got plenty of cash for. Alright. That should be good. Nice. First try. Check a few things before we go for Zora. Assuming the waters aren't teeming with dangerous wildlife. We got a heart container up on the island. Mm -hmm. 
else. Else of very scary value here. Aw, oh, mmm. That's kind of scary. Uh, ugh. Can I just... Oh boy, this is gonna be a fucking... Do we just blaze a trail back? Ah, no! <laughs> wow! Wow, what a play! What a play! <laughs> what a shit. Alright, I guess we're not going to Hobo right away. Fuck me. Okay, um, we can still um, get Waterfall Wishing though, and Zora. <laughs> he did do it well. That's right. That's 100% correct. I have that big fucking spike ball in the water too. Fucking get out of the way, asshole! Yeah, he's just fucking rushing for it. Man, get some pro football teams on the line there. They need a new fucking linebacker? That guy's got it covered. Jeez. Alright. All right, it's fine. So, all right, we're, we'll skip Hobo for now. It's not in logic, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but, uh, could you dance your pickle butt out of here? Thank you. All right, so these two are definitely out of logic. But maybe it'll save us. Maybe it'll save us. Bombs and arrows, <laughs> damn it. No, it did nothing. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. That's unfortunate. Uh, on the ledge is nothing but a piece of candy. We don't care. <clears throat> oh, Alright, well, you know what? Fuck it. Don't need fake with them. So here's hoping that uh, Zora has the hammer or the titan mitts, because if he doesn't, Mega One required. Ah, it's a magic cape. Fuck you. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, that's so dumb. Well, well, shit. That's what I got to say to that. So I guess we're fighting the Mega One anyways. And all the enemies that entails on the way up. So fuck me, I guess. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> I guess it has been a while. It's been a, a hot minute since we've had an Ega 1 required seed, so here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Uh, I hope that's a green Igor and not a red one. Okay, good. <laughs> kind of hard to tell with some of the palette fuckery going on here. <clears throat> hey, thanks for the resub, I would guess. <laughs> Omega Weapon. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Yep. 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 Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna do 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 and get out of here. The dumbass, bullshit ass, spitty bomb things. Alright, alright. Arrows. Woo hoo. <clears throat> bum bum bada dum bum. Bum bum bada dum. Bomb back, idiot. Bum bum bada dum bum. Bum bum bada dum bum. Bum bum bada dum bum. <laughs> Alright, so far the enemies haven't been too terribly difficult here. 
Gonna be a hint. Piece of heart needs fire and tower of hair. Jeez, these timely hints, I tell ya. They are doing the work. Tell me where shit is after I get it. Alright, well, we're here. Fuck you, Ega One, preemptively. So, this will be our first step into the Dark World. Which I'm hoping there's something good on Pyramid, because, uh. <laughs> Something to get us better Dark World access than coming through the, the castle gates here. Be real nice. So there's one. Mandatory first one. Oh, good. Blue balls. Thanks. Thanks, Agamon. Appreciate it. Two blue balls. Ah, ah, ah. There's two. Okay. Blue balls. Ah, ah, ah. Four blue balls. God damn it. Fucking Ega One, man. This is why nobody likes fighting you. Five. Great. Awesome. The best. Just the best. Bastard. Was that four actual hits? I think. Six blue balls. Oh my god, it's so bad. RNG, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, I think we need one more hit, and then we're good to go. Please don't make this another fucking full cycle. Damn it! What is that, seven? Oh, that's terrible. Ah, for fuck's sake. That's not the most terrible way this has gone, or it could go, but it's still pretty bad. Like, fuck you, Aga One. Just fuck you. Ugh. Dang it. Well, he's dead now, so there's that. So there is that. Oh, I forgot to mark that I had one pro. So, okay, so we got we got a lot of places we can go now. Uh, piece of candy on the pyramid. Eh. Hmm. Well, hum. Oh, I've got Hookshot, that's right. So, mm, well, first of all, let's take stock of what we got. Green Pennant at Skull Woods, blue and red at Ice, and... Ew, Thievestown, really? And a 5 6 they're up at T-Rock, the other one at Meyer, and normal-ass crystals all the way around. Well, shit. Well, shit. Um, I guess we can dip into pod since we're kind of here already. And then we just kind of kind of make our way around counterclockwise up in this bullshit. But hey, whatever. Not bitter about it at all. Oh, nice fire bar hidden in the tree. Fantastic. The good news being that the enemy rando will probably uh, unblock the right-hand side, since that was normally bow-locked, what with the red mimic and all. <clears throat> so we should be able to get all the way up to uh, the back third of this, and then have to just mirror out and call it a day. But up to five items in pod, so let's see what we can get.
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Whoa, half magic. That's pretty nice. What with our fire rod and all. No small key to progress up the center there, though. So. Probably get keys for days on the right side, though. It's usually how it goes. Cash and some bombs in Western Wing of Swamp Palace. Okay, cool. Well, <clears throat> that knocks out two items in the swamp, then. It saves us quite a bit of time. Excuse me, sir. Alright, good. So we're not bow locked out of this room. Small key. Oh, our first bottle. Impressive. <clears throat> well, this will definitely be a small key, then. Right? Kind of has to be. Hey, there we go. Wow. Very, very light on keys on this first part of pod. Kind of impressive. Kind of impressive. There's another small key. Naturally. This button isn't under one of these again. Hey, good. <laughs> Want to make another fucking circuit just to get that dumb chest down there. Ooh, got chain chopper down there though, huh? Okay. Is this a key exchange? It was. Fuck. I didn't like that other key. It was old and rusty, I guess. Doop it doop doop. Come the keys for days. Still looking for one more of those, though. Excuse me. A little cash money. Ten bombs, thanks. But didn't really need those. There's the big ass key. Two more items left to get. And then we are both bow and hammer locked out of here. Really? It's a piece of candy. One more item. There's the compass. And our second last thing that we can check. What do we got? The other small key? The burrito. <laughs> Well, shit, and I think the other thing's gonna be a key exchange, so we are done here. We are done here. And then the boss will have the final item. Okay, well, that was kind of worthless. Half magic is nice, but the rest was kind of bullshit. So, I guess we get to go... Maybe go check Catfish first, since we're already sort of in the area? And make our way counterclockwise. 
Luckily, we can do most of everything on our way. So we've already got Mirror, and we've got Hookshot, and we've got Fire Rod. This will be a real nice... So we can check Sick Kid on our way through uh, Village of Outcasts, since we've got a bottle, finally. We can do the rest of the checks when we hit the north side as well. Fantastic. So, at, at least if we're gonna get shit on with an egg of one seed, at least the routing isn't bad. For this part. The smallest of mercies. Alright, wake up, you lousy fish. Give me, a, give me a hammer or something. That's a lot of shit you could give us that would be real helpful about now. Eh? Eh. Visit the Bambos, okay. <clears throat> Not quite a vanilla medallion there, but gave us a medallion, so thanks. Thanks for that, I guess. That's something. Check Kings 2, I think, right? I just need to go around to do it. <coughs> Scooby B. Get out of here. <laughs> Kings Doom! Piece of candy. How about a good refill there, no? Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Flemmy. A little flemmy right now. Apologies. Hey, there's the Titans, Mints. All right. Opens up a whole <clears throat> bunch of other bullshit we can do. Some of it on the way, some of it not. But hell yeah, we got it. Whoa, what the hell was that thing? <laughs> it just pieced the fuck out, whatever it was. Goodness. Take that. Nice old red sword there. That's pretty nice. That's really good. Fuck this dumb blue sword bullshit. Give me the red one. So, no spin strats, no silverless Ganon for us tonight. Once we find that bow. But heck yeah, tempered sword. Heck yeah. We are ready to go. Okay, so Skullwoods is a green pendant. It's pretty short though, so let's go let's go check it out anyways. <coughs> Whoop. <laughs> oh boy. A spike roller in narrow spaces, that's not good. Good. What a good start. What a good compass to start this out. Thanks. We know where we're going. Big old key, alright. Not terribly useful here, just opens up the big chest, but it's better than the burrito. More useful than the burrito. 
So I was feeling pretty tired earlier, so I figured this would have been the one seed tonight, but... Oh, jeez, fuck. <laughs> but I'm feeling a little bit better now, so let's say if this seed goes, like, sub... Sub 220, we'll say. Because that's pretty generous. We'll, uh, we'll start up something a little bit different after that, and we'll see how far we can get. How's that sound? How's that sound? Hey, no. Ooh, bottle of blue goo, huh? Okay, oopsie. No, oh, for fuck, use the, the hook shot. The, the thing that I've got assigned to the button I'm pressing. For fuck's sake! Use it! Use it! Thank you! Also, these guys need to not wreck my shit, thank you. Okay. <laughs> that guy didn't care. He's just like, fuck you, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we got some blue goo. That's the first item. Also, good safety. Uh... How in the f- Alright, you know what? You know what? Fuck you, Spike Roller! Use the fucking cape! Okay, let's not pay attention to the buttons that I'm pressing. Thanks, game. Thanks. At least it puts me back up here. Good lord. I pressed the fucking button, and it just did not want to do anything about it. It doesn't take us that long to get back there, it's just annoying. So it might have been better to just mirror out and go that way. Oops. Oh well, well, we're committed. Let's try this again, huh? Suppose we get what the? Whoa, jeez, that hooked onto the fucking tree. That's silly. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks, Hookshot. Doing your job, I guess. be the second item. I mean, I guess either way we'll probably full clear because of green pendant and all that shit. We're already up here. May as well. <clears throat> Gets us two instead of one. Well, that's probably for the best, actually. Get, get some more health back. There's no guarantee we'll be able to beat this boss anyways. We've been lucky so far, two for two. A King Helmosaur and, uh, whatever the other one was. What was the other one? Oh, uh, <clears throat> a Cold Stare, right. Fuck's sake. Bullshit fire bar. Get out of here! Oh, good! God damn it. 
Yeah, this is the enemy rando just doing bullshit again. Fine. Oh, thanks. All right, fine. You know what? Fuck it. Whatever. We're out. We're out. <laughs> you even? <laughs> that shithead did not get into that hole. Very upset. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Uh, an Argus. We can do this. Got the shot after all. Doesn't help that we're on a fucking conveyor belt. That's a little annoying. <laughs> Oh, oof. Ah, uh, no, oh, no. Okay. Nice. Good two hits. I hope that counted as two because of spikes and shit. I guess it did. Good. So there's the green pendant. We still gotta get that last item, though. Which will be that chest at the, uh, at the beginning of the second half here. Okay. Okay, thank you. Shit lizard. Hey, good. I'm glad we went back for that 20 rupees. <clears throat> Would have hated to go buy something and then be 20 bucks short. So at least we're safe from that. Firebar gets in the way. Oh man. Things are not coming up Sonic here. But alright, so there's the green pendant. I guess we'll do. Village of Outcast, Sick Kid. Since we've got some bottles for him now. <clears throat> Can't really do much else except make the standard route around Dark World now. Hey, baby's first shield. Okay. A little bit of protection, as mediocre as it is. It's right here. All right, buddy, you better have something real good. How about a bow or something? Twenty bucks, really? <laughs> Fucking really? I don't need that. I don't need 20 bucks. I mean, I could use I could use 20 real dollars, but I don't need 20 fake ass rupees. Ether. Okay. A little lightning bolt coin. Unfortunately, uh, Thieves Town is a pendant, but. Four items in there, so the likelihood of that being actually required is probably pretty high. Ten arrows and a oh, big old heart container. Okay, we're on to the second row. That's probably enough health. We're feeling pretty safe. So what am I doing? Here. Be 
maybe check the first core and be on our way. Or we could just full clear it. I mean, why the fuck not? I don't know how many items we actually get in here. Whoa, sprite limit, please. 50 rupees. Aw, yeah. And that blast processing, really doing doing the work, pulling the overtime here. Pass. Uh, we may as well just full clear it. We're here and only got a hundred groups out of the deal, so knows if there's gonna be more. Better shit, perhaps. In the hopes that it's not locked in the big chest. So we need a hammer to get that. Or behind a bullshit boss that we can't beat. Because wouldn't that just be a thing? The real chain chomps, uh, pokey bouncing around, whatever the fuck those guys are. Oh, jeez. You know what? Not risking it. Or maybe risking it, but then not at the same time. Oof. Play the odds. Four out of seven. Ah, ah just barely last fucking pull there. Oh! Bombs! <laughs> Whee! Okay, cool. Well, that's three out of four. Out of the way, you fucker. That small shit. Alright, well, 50 50 chance that we're gonna get the last item then. Can't get the big chest because he's got no hammer. It's all up to this boss though. And, if this turns out to be, like, a, a pedestal seal, then we'll be two-thirds of the way there. So you know what? Let's keep a sense of optimism about it. What do we fight? Another Argus. So Argus is entirely off the table for the rest of the bosses now. There's the final item. Not entirely useful, but hey, we got it. <laughs> Damn it. What a waste of time. That entire fucking dungeon was a waste of time. I could have skipped it. Oh well. It was the adventure. It was the adventure we had along the way that was worth it. And also, <laughs> trying to head off a pedestal seed. Let's put it that way.
that gets us another one. Pretty deep into that game, though. Is that like dig number 20, 21 or something like that? It's pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Stopping us from going fast. That's right, we've already discovered that the uh, purple chest has red mail, right? And since we're here already, we may as well grab it. We'll be making the rounds. We'll be making the rounds with the other shit. May as well. Oh good, they're making money. You fucking illegal ass counterfeiters, you. <laughs> You're lucky I don't turn you into the Hyrule guards, I guess. Bastards. <laughs> Giving me something more valuable. So look the other way. All right, so we got Cave South the Grove. We got Old Stumpy. Go turn this in for red mail. We can get. Uh, hype Cave. Ooh, Stumpy with the value. Canis Maria. Thanks, brah. That's real helpful. <laughs> that is extremely helpful, in fact. Mm, ten arrows in the cave south of Grove. Thanks, but no thanks, I guess. looking for that bow. The bow would be nice, the hammer would also be good. Powder would be good in a pinch. Flippers and flute are both required. But I'm not gonna mine this red mail. Hell yeah. Look at that shit. Now we super saiyan. actually kind of a cool sprite. I mean, let's look at that. It's more Sonic than any of the past, like, half dozen actual Sonic games. <laughs> oh, man. With the exception of Mania, I've heard Mania is pretty good. It being a remake slash remaster of the classic 2D Sonics. All right, so not a good hype cave. This is lots of bombs and money. Wow, what a fucking travesty. Fuck you, hype cave, for not being hype. What a waste. All right, well, hmm. That doesn't leave us a whole lot of options. There's a Sashasha Shershula for the green pendant turn in and Dark Side Death Mountain. Because we can't even get into any other dungeons. This is silly. This has turned into a very silly seed. But at least we got baller tunes to listen to, you know? This fucking bumpin' ass track, it's the best. Alright, Shasha Shashirla. Ooh, the ice rod! That's actually incredibly good. <laughs> That's incredibly good, considering if we ever run into a Trinex, that will be very important. It's 
so real glad we went through the entirety of Skull Woods for that. Real bad if we had been missing that. So, I mean, we could maybe... We've got a two-thirds shot of being able to get into T-Rock. Given the Bombos and Ether medallions we currently have. Considering that's a crystal, that's probably not the worst place to be able to go. What with its five items and progression. Me, 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 me. So here's hoping. I mean, we've already got, let's see, two, four, six items up here that we can grab. So maybe there's something else we can do. Big ol' heart container, sure. Another big ol' 20. Yeesh. Okay, not great. Certainly not great. The extra health is probably not bad. But we've got, already got red mail, so it's not really that important. Hey, there's the flippers. Okay. That's good. There's the bow. Fucking great. Okay. Big old 20. Man, hookshot cave paying off. And the flute! <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, well that opens up a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Fuck me. That's excellent. Alright, what do we got on T-Rock here? Ether. We can do this. We can do this. While we're up here, you know? Um... Actually, wait, can we do this? Oh no, we can't. We don't have uh, the hammer to get into it. You know what? That's fine then. That is perfectly fine. I am okay with that. But hell yeah, the flippers, the flutes, and the bow in Hookshot Cave. That's ridiculous. That is some ridiculous bullshit. But hey, at least we have them now. Let's go activate this flute. Get our fast travel going on. Go do Meyer Desert back to back. That'll feel real nice. Let's rise for our national anthem. Mmm. This also makes us able to actually go check Hobo without dying. We don't need to fake flipper no more. But that will have to wait for a hot second. Let's so take a trip around the rest of the land. See what we can see. Get what we can get. And hope that Meyer is Bombos or Ether. Eh? It is Bombos. Fantastic. So, that makes this back-to-back -back double play an actual thing we can do. Hey, the Arrow of Destiny. Run is halfway valid. And the bug net. Well, that's about safety. It's real about safety. So, I think the only thing we are missing for go mode now is the hammer. That is the one thing we are actually looking for. So we find that shit, and we are done. We are done looking around. But until that point, we're gonna have to continue to full clear everything. With the exception of left side of swamp, we already know that's bullshit. It's like bombs and rupees or whatever that hint said, right? <laughs> Bounty of fire bars here. Excuse me. Alright. Big 
big old fiver. What a waste, but hey, we know what's there. Hey, there's the other item. Okay. Kind of worthless. to be the big key then, I would presume. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> Perfect. Alright, so that was a real quick real quick front side of desert. We saw both items were bullshit. Last out of six had the key, figures. Look at this vanilla ass room. Wow, maybe Rando really fell down on that one. This whole dungeon has been pretty, like, unremarkable. <laughs> Unremarkably vanilla, with the exception of those fire bars. And the key placement, really. And this guy. It's one snack. <clears throat> Question, how do I feel about playing with items in Smash? Um... Low. <laughs> items on low, if at all. Um... Oh, it's a vanilla-ass fucking Lanmo, too. Um, items on low or not at all. So I really feel that items are mostly, uh... They take away a lot from the skill of the game, I think. I am H.O. Um... Unless you're doing, like, some crazy-ass shenanigans, like all the bombs or all Pokeballs or something, just for silliness sake. Um... But anything beyond that is kind of like, ugh. <laughs> like, ugh. But there's Crystal 3. See you in hell, Lamo. You won't be, you won't be lonely. Uh, okay, so we're good there. Time to go do Mire now. Oh, come on, what? It was like one pixel into the cliff? Fuck you, dumbass portal. Ugh. But yeah, I've had many a, a Smash match being determined by a bad spawn of an item. So I am a little salty about items in general in that particular game. <laughs> Ugh. It's very silly. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, use of items is a, is a skill in its own. In and of itself, it's a skill that you should probably have to be able to play competently, but I don't think that items, the presence of items should be a match outcome determining thing. Because that's silly. That's real silly. Found the button. It's a small key. I 
why I'm going over here. It's really really silly. Get another small key. And another small key, just in case that first one wasn't enough. We now have three. We still haven't seen Saint Card just yet, have we? How curious. chance of an item here. Must be on the boss then, or in that other chest. I think we still need the big key. Come to think of it. We're still missing the compass, the big key, and the last item. Alright, but I know the button's down here. Because we checked on the way in. I was thinking. I was thinking. Big old pot shuffle. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass and you forget to check it, but nope, nope, there it is. <laughs> the lack of a butter sword. We still got a few more places we can check, huh? So maybe we'll see butter just yet. But not now, apparently. Decided to give me the big key instead. Like, butter I can do without. We've already got plenty of firepower. Got the silvers and shit. Um, it's- I certainly wouldn't turn it down, though. Butter Sword is real good. But in terms of required items to finish this garbage off, Butter is not among them. Okay, cool, we've got all the small keys, thank you. And- <laughs> and the compass. Fantastic. Well, that was a fun full clear mire. Ah, oh, damn. That was a, a sick block drop from a damage boost. <laughs> One pixel off. Absolutely right. The Butter Sword meme transcends raw numerical damage values. You are correct. I hadn't thought of that. I had not thought of that. That being said, at, uh, at this point in time, I would prefer to see the hammer instead of butter. For this precise fucking reason, fighting this asshole. It's gotta be good with our bomb tosses. Hope that hit him. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes, the second one. Excellent. Alright. We are on our bomb toss game, at the very least. Oh, not that time, though. Yep. 
Yeah, perfect. Because I think technically, Helmosaur now is the only boss that's not in logic for us to be able to beat without a hammer. It's a good thing we've got a stash of bombs with us to kind of take care of business. Oh, literacy! Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Well, hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem. There's Crystal Four, so you know, whatever. That opens up Bombos and Ether Tablets and allows a check of the pedestal. Hmm. And now we're kind of stuck. We can get into the rest of the dungeons, except for T-Rock. Um, but we can't finish them. Although, technically speaking, I think we could probably finish... We could probably finish Ice. Oh, no, we can't, because we would need the hammer. Oh, we can't take this one, because I don't have the hammer. Fuck. <laughs> wow, we are just kind of out of options a little bit. Come down from the fucking Kakariko portal. Oi. Oi, oi. Hmm. There's Bombo's tablet, there's Hobo, and there's Ether tablet. And then we've got to just go into some shit, I guess? We can check the first chest in the swamp. We can do most of ice. And then we've already done as much of pod as we can. We can't get into T-Rock. We can't even do Spike Cave. Which we won't have to do Spike Cave ever because uh, we need the hammer to get into it. And once we get the hammer, we're saying fuck everything else. So, oh boy. Isn't this fun? We have to find the one item that leads us to go mode. Oi. Alright, well, whatever. Better one item than like three or four, so whatever. Excuse me, Bouncing Skull Man. Get out of here. <laughs> so now, if the hammer has been on Hobo this entire time, and I could have had it way back when, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Because it hasn't really been in logic until now anyways, since we got the, uh, since we got the, uh, the flippers. Well, that was worthless. the enemy from before. That wasn't the big spike bro. Huh. That's curious. Ah, so he's only got the powder, but that does open up Batman now. Ugh. Fetch quest after fetch quest. My goodness. What the hell? Wasn't it a big spike bro that body blocked me from this before? Where was that guy this time? Curious. Oh, which I can't do this without going to the dark world anyways, because I don't have the hammer. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, this hammer is so useful and so absent from my inventory.
All right. Hammer wants to be here. That's fine. Be nice. That'd be real nice. Stop all this fucking running about. And let me finish up these last few fucking. Uh... Hey! Well, there's Butter Sword. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay, um... Well, here's the deal, right? Oh no, it can't- oh, never mind. Forget it. I was thinking that Hammer could be on pedestal, but it can't. So that's good. So that's good. Um since we need Hammer to beat the last Pendant Dungeon, which is ice. Ah. Uh, so do I go... You know what, fuck it, let's go into ice. Chance of three items versus a, a long fucking slog to get one item up an Ether Tablet. Or... Or getting the first item in Swamp, which is just silly. Although that has been a blocker before, so who knows? Who fucking knows at this point? Ugh. Well, we're equipped. We're ready to handle whatever ice can throw at us. Tell me where the hammer is, please. Damn it. <laughs> We've got 100% death on our side, so whatever. None of this 80%, maybe 85% death bullshit we were handling before. So give me that ape hopper for this thing. Just in case we have some problems with our bomb jumps. Hmm, well this is a mess of bouncing spikes. Excuse me. Unique item is in Hookshot Cave. Well, damn it, that could have been one of three. <laughs> there were three unique items in Hookshot Cave. It's kind of a treasure trove. better at that. No key, so no alternate routes. That it terribly matters. Just good for this one, I guess. Hey! Hammer! In a fucking pendant dungeon. That's lame as hell. <laughs> Alright, we out. We fucking out. We out and in go mode. Ugh, fuck you, Ice Palace. Get out of here. Just get. It's so silly. What a silly place to put a required item. 
But I'm glad it was the first item and not like super deep in there. Fucking fire bars, man. They do want to hide under grass. All right, so we are good. We can go mode swamp. Finish off pod and go mode T-Rock. Oh man, it's gonna feel real nice. Like, go mode swamp is just the best. You just go in, you wreck shit, and you're out in three minutes. Oops, except I actually have to <laughs> do this other thing to be able to get in there. Derp. So we should be good to handle every boss now, which is fantastic. At least I think so. We've already seen two Helmosaurs and two Arguses, so those are off the table. Uh, we haven't seen an Armos yet, which we can pretty much murder straight up because of Silver Bow, Silver Arrows, rather. Uh, we've seen one Landmo, that's easy. We haven't seen any Wormulons. Uh, we haven't seen a Mothula, which will be easy with Butter. Uh, blind is always pretty easy. We could still see a Cold Stare. Should be fine, since we got half magic. I haven't seen a Vitreous, which is fine, because we've got Bow and Silvers again. Uh, and we haven't seen a, uh, a Trinex. Ouch. Ow, stop it. Man, it's a lot of water just flying around there. Cheeky motherfuckers. Now, how much do you want to bet they put the key in that next area over again? Because that has been a thing <laughs> in more than one of these fucking things when I'm done. So we're gonna check it right away. And maybe this will pay off, maybe it won't. I'm gonna grab a back of fast fairy because I'm scared. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh? Yeah! <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> Trying to pull a fast one on me? Fuck you. Hilarious. Saw through that game. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I don't have a big key. Doesn't matter. Don't need it. I'd check anyways. Ow, fucking... Stop it! Arr. Now there's not even anything that I'd really want to pick up for safety, either. Like another bottle, I guess? But we've got everything. Bone Silver Arrows, fucking Butter Sword. That's about all you can really ask for, right? Don't need nothing else. Let's check this just as a matter of course. A piece of candy, what a waste. And those guys are backing the fuck off. They don't want to mess with Sanic here. They're like, no, fuck that. We don't get paid enough for this. Alright, one in nine chance. Let's go for it. Ah. A six-eyed Wormula this time. Better see a doctor, bro. That is four too many eyes. <laughs> that is triple stereoscopy. How can you deal with that? Crystal five. Hell yeah. Okay, I just need to swing by pod, finish that motherfucker off, and then go... Go mode the heck out of T-Rock. 
Hey man, look, all I'm recommending is that he go to a qualified optometrist and get all six of his eyeballs checked out, alright? I feel like that's good advice. No shame in having six eyeballs. It's just a bit much. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny how that sprite gets corrupted, though. It's really weird. This is funny as hell. Ah! Do 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 I mean, hell, I'd love me to have six eyeballs. That'd be fucking great. It'd look at so much more porn. <laughs> uh, at least three times more porn. Let's be honest here. At least, if not more. how your brain would have to adapt to crunch all that extra visual info. See? Yeah. It'd probably be more of a curse than a blessing, if you think about it. Then again, if you had six eyeballs, like, from birth, I'm pretty sure your brain would adapt pretty well, right? Like, you'd know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. There's a nice moth below. That's gonna die immediately because we got Butter Sword. Fuck you, Mothula. Oi. <clears throat> All for a big 20. Fantastic. There's Crystal Six. Boop. Alright, and away we go to T Rock. Okay, this this seed was kind of jerky to us in like the mid game again, but otherwise it hasn't been too bad. We had a pretty good solid start, and then just fucking fell off for a good hour, and now we're back on the fucking tear here. So whatever. <laughs> Damn rock pickup animation, piece of shit. All right, let's look for a nice.
nice, quick, easy go mode T Rock, please. All I can see out of the corner of my eye as I look up at chat is that big line of Ohio's there. <laughs> it's very distracting. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to reach out to Wayne G to see if he gives a custom quote as an intro to the stream for lol so he didn't get back to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, man? I don't know who Wayne June is. But presumably he's working on Darkest Dungeon 2, huh? That's pretty funny. But I don't know what 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 would your intent be with that? Um now you've got me very curious. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh damn! Yeah, that'd be fucking dope. Be super dope. Also, I feel bad for mocking him. <laughs> or at least mocking what he says. I'm not mocking him as a person, but mocking what the narrator says. <clears throat> oh shit, did I? Oh, I got the big key. Fucking sick. Alright. Wasn't even paying attention. Just thinking about other things. But we're not quite in go mode for this yet, because we need, uh, I think at least two small keys. Before things start going our way here. Ah, that! Ah, thanks for the last Darkest Dungeon. You made a bunch of custom quotes for screamers on the request of Kevin Ray. That's right, I think I do remember reading a little bit about that. That's fucking sick. Oh yeah. I mean, that's, that's funny and all, but can you imagine, can you imagine doing something for, for little old me? That'd be ridiculous, man. Come on. <laughs> That'd be silly. Alright, we've got no keys. We need some keys. say. Like, that'd be the real hard part, you know? Like, if money were no object, what do you think would be the best thing you could get him to say? Take some thought, I think. I was looking for there. The laser bridge will have to be assaulted. I'll have to take that bridge by force. Will not be a bridge too far this day. Hey, there's our small key. Never mind. Laser bridge will not be required. Cause fuck laser bridge. It's just a waste of time. It's not vanilla button. Excuse me. Ouch. It's not that one. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Ow! Damn it. Stop it. What about here? Here? There we go. Oh, shit. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
You made it look like gold already? Oh man, come on. Come on, man! That's super flattering and awesome. And it's kind of silly. And I love it. <laughs> Alright, let me read this thing here. Quest for glory. It's really just... <laughs> Uh, it's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. I do like his voice, though. His voice is super awesome. Like, can you imagine having a voice like that? You must get all of the tail in the world. Oh, hey, it's got an armless going on here. I'm actually super jealous of everybody that's got kind of like that movie voiceover voice. Because it's super sick and awesome. Alright, there we go. There is the final crystal. Buck 56 flat. Ooh. So one more opportunity for RNG to really fuck us over. So 1 through 22, where are we finding that G Tower big key tonight, huh? Where are we finding it? Where are we finding this Garbo? Oop, excuse me, dancing pickle. One. <laughs> Man, if it was one, I would lose my shit. So here's hoping. <laughs> here's hoping, you know? What, was it? Was it that early last time? Really? I thought we had to dig for it. Maybe not, man. You know how bad my memory is, so... You know, you could be right. You could be right. So let's see. Let's see what we got. One and or two. Eh? Ah! One some red goo. Which is actually good backup juice. Two! A small ass key. If it were three, it'd have to be on the torch. So let's see what we got. It is not on the torch, but it's another small ass key, so we'll take it. Excuse me, sir. Four through seven. Let's see what we got. Four. Ten arrows. Five. Visit a bane. Six. Another small ass key. Keys for days. Seven. Piece of candy. Hmm. It's not a good start. Excuse me, sir. Number eight, right? These are guarding it pretty good. Number eight, piece of candy. Yeah. Oh boy, we digging for it, aren't we? It's gonna be like full on right side, isn't it? Oops. Uh, pretty sure I hit the button to trigger that, but maybe not. I guess I am the idiot. This day, I am the idiot. Hmm, that is a whole lot of fire bars and other nasty shit. Excuse me. Number nine? 300 groups. Well, we are fucking rich. Cool thousand rupees there. Ten through thirteen uh, on approach. Ten. Twenty roots. Number eleven. Fifty roots. Number twelve. Twenty roots. Number thirteen. Lucky number thirteen. Another piece of candy. It's good for another hard container, but that's about it. Shit. Be doing some refights, it looks like. One more chance before we gotta do it. Yeah, get no. <laughs> I fought so hard for that.
Alright, last chance, number 14. Or we gotta drop down and beat the shit out of some folks. Hey! Look at that! Number 14. Excellent. <laughs> Just gotta call it out. Just gotta call it out, and RNG provides. Okay, well, not a complete trash fire. Could have been better. Could have been worse. It's just the slog up to Jerk Wizard the second here. Oh wow! I didn't expect that would hit him. Cool! What a fucking toss. sake, hit him. This big ass sword and you can't hit this tiny ass shit. There. Swing in his general direction, you'll hit it. Trust me. At least two refights here. <clears throat> so we'll see what we're dealing with. Oh, it wasn't a. Oh! Hey, Vitreus! <laughs> Guess what? We got silver motherfucking arrows, so you are not long for this world, my friend. Well, I'm gonna have to watch my arrow count. I need at least four for Ganon. <laughs> and probably more, knowing my aim. Let's grab a few more. Cool guy strats are still well and good. <laughs> Dang, that was pretty solid. Oh, ah, fuck it. Too late. Excuse me.
All right, one more refight. What do we got? Another Mothula. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Three and four. You're dead. No? There we go. Good. Validation chests. 20 rupees. Oh boy. Thanks. I can afford that extra pack of gum. When we're done with the credits scene. Okay, Jerk Wizard the second. Did I just fight you like an hour and a half ago? Piece of shit. Bad positioning. One out of that. Hey, nice two shot. Ah! Blue balled again. Again, fantastic. <laughs> ah, quite do that one. Hey, there we go. Fuck you, jerk wizard the second. Six forty. Okay. Well, this will at least be a sub two ten. And we don't just totally fall flat on our faces with this Ganon fight. <clears throat> but I figure we got plenty of resources to make this happen. And maybe we'll even pull off another triple, like I think we did last time, or maybe that was the time before. Because that was sick. Fire bats. I think I do have one backup fairy, so even if we take a bump here. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Sick. up there soon enough to to get him before he did that, but I guess not. It's fine. I did find the arrows on Death Mountain. Thank you. Good double to finish, though. I'll take it. <laughs> and boom! 208.48. That's pretty good, considering what a trash fire the rest of the seed was. Whee! <laughs> okay, well... I did kind of promise earlier, this was a sub-220, so we're gonna try something a little bit different now. Um, but we're gonna let the credits play out, and take a look at our stats. I'm gonna go, uh, top off a drink. And we'll just, uh, we'll just see where this goes here. So, I'll be back. I'll let this play.
<laughs> yeah, the sprites get all super cheeky when you do the enemy rando, which is funny as hell. Okay, so while this is playing out the rest of the way, I gotta put together something. I gotta put together something real quick here. Oh, the old man. He always gets so chopped up. Poor dude. <clears throat> okay. Prepare to fast forward. Let's, uh, let's speed this along a bit. It's just a bunch of bombs on MSP. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that being the case. All right, so let's just take a look at stats, and then we'll we'll start up number two here. And uh, number two is gonna be a bit different. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit different. Might not be immediately obvious how different it is, but uh, we'll find out probably soon enough. The important stuff. We did find the sword very early because that was in the in the sanctuary. Boots were good at 420. Nice. <laughs> Flute was kind of late. Mirror was sort of eh. But we did pretty gosh dang well for swords. PT big key at 14. Yeah. Uh, one of those deaths was intentional. I feel like yeah. And the rest was kind of pretty bog standard. <laughs> nothing to write home about, but nothing to be too pissed about either. <laughs> 